Yeah, we so can't. Yeah. We don't know how God looks like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know how he looks like. But Christian's God is a man. He used to go to the toilet. Can I, can he used I to poo. He Wait, used to urinate. Imagine. Let me prove it to you. Right, so in the Bible, we uh -huh. have revelation coming from God. In the Quran, Muhammad never heard from Many God, right? Now off. tell me, how can a revelation, how comes God, God never spoke to Muhammad a single time? And you know the Bible warns you in Galatians that if you hear another gospel from an angel, let him be accursed. Now, if Muhammad was truly anointed by God, why wouldn't God ever speak to Muhammad directly? I got an answer again. She's asking, the sister is asking, Quran was not, is not God's word, but it was revealed through an angel, yes? If you give me a single verse in the Bible, now, now, if you give me any verse where God said, I am the one who inspired the words of the verses of the Bible. Do you have any verse? Do you have any verse? No, no, thank you. Who said that? Who said that? But now you're, wait, you're wait, changing wait, wait, wait. subjects Who because said the that? reality Okay, wait, the reality wait. Who said that? Please that answer. Why who said? Why are you no. at, we who said, said that? We always talk about no, the no. Bible. Who said all the scriptures is inspired by God? Who said that? Paul or God? You tell it's me. It's in Peter. Peter, thank you. It's Peter yeah. God. The Spirit of the Lord. Wait, I know wait. into the prophets. Now it's we're Peter talking God. about the Bible because it's he Peter doesn't God. want to acknowledge the fact that, the, that Muhammad never it's heard Peter from God. God. Why didn't God... Okay, okay, let me answer your question now. I'm sorry, we're talking okay. about the Bible. Okay, now Tell I'm me. answering your question now. You said God inspired all the verses of the Bible. Why are you not answering? Wait, wait, I'm answering now. Is he answering wait, 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 wait. I asked if, if Allah, if Muhammad heard from God, why wouldn't God speak directly to Muhammad? And instead he wants to talk about the Bible because he knows that Allah never spoke to Muhammad. Wait, 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 wait. And he doesn't want to talk about wait, it. Wait, I'm asking one simple question. But you're not answering okay, my wait, question. wait. I'm asking a simple question. Do you have any verse in the Bible where all of the prophets of the Bible, God spoke to them direct? All of yes. them. Any, all of them. Do you have it? You can see it no, in do you the have Old it? Old Testament. Okay, do you have it? All of them. No. I'm telling you now, that's a lie. It's no. The answer is no. So you cannot tell me. No, I'm answering now. That's my response. I'm answering now. In Islam, there's only three ways you can receive a message from God three ways either god will send an angel or god will inspire you straightforward or god will speak to you behind a veil but he never spoke to muhammad wait now let me finish this in islam in islam all the prophets even in the bible all prophets of the bible god did not speak to them directly he did all of them he did. show me a single verse where it says that all the prophets how many prophets do you have um, we have many. I don't know the exact number. We have it's over authors 20. of the Bible. 40 it, authors. Yes. No, how many prophets do you have in the Bible? I don't know. How many is it? A dozen? No, more. 20. How many prophets? Say, just any, say any numbers. Any number. You can search up and then I'll come to your question. How many? You don't know your own Bible. So don't worry. I want her to answer that question. You don't know your own Bible. What is Answer that question. It's always good to see you like being specific. Yeah. Why are we talking about the Bible when I ask you about the Quran? No, no, don't worry. Don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know, don't worry. I know that, how to deal that, with them. Is that, is that how, what about gone. No, 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 no. What about Christophobia? Please go. You, you, Brother. You accuse people of being Islamophobic. No, you are talking to me. Wait, because Miss they don't Amy. believe in Islam. Miss Amy. No, I, Brother. I have, I'm a Sharia for, don't worry, but I don't want Sharia. Gone. I respect gone. people. He's gone. I respect He's gone. People's He's gone now. I know. Let's come to the point. This is what Muslim people okay. do. They don't say worry. Islamophobe. No, don't right? worry. Don't worry. Let me give you a simple now. Now I'm going to use your Bible. You said all the verses of the Bible is inspired by God. I'm giving you Paul verses. It tells you Paul, in a, in look, a, look, look. 2 Timothy 3.16, it says all scripture is written like out verse. by God and like profitable that verse. for teaching, for reproof, for correction, Thank you. for, like for training verse. in righteousness, and the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Did you hear that one? Paul said all the scriptures is God's breath. So now, can you go to me, for me, please? 1 Corinthians chapter what? 7, verse 6. Go, why, why please are we go, please. About the Bible, no. Not the Quran, no, 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 no. You don't want to address the Quran. Wait, 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 wait. This wait, is wait. the reality. Wait, Muslim wait, wait. People, Muhammad never oh, heard from wait, Allah. Wait, wait, wait. Brother, please go, please go. Brother, please go. He talks about the Bible. Look, look. 
Okay, I will read that verse for you. You don't want to read, yes? Why don't you want to okay. talk about the fact that okay. Muhammad never heard from Allah? Look, look. Show look me here. a verse where it tells you that Muhammad okay, heard you from finish. Allah. I will listen. What? I, I address this. Don't talk about the Bible. Okay, you know the Bible. You know I will listen to you. When you finish, so I will talk. So can you tell me, please, why didn't Allah speak directly to Muhammad? Because God never spoke to Muhammad. This is why he was deceived by a fallen angel. Wait. Bro brother, now, wait. He was angel Gabriel deceived Muhammad and he's deceiving all Muslim people. If God wanted to speak to Muhammad, he would have spoken directly yeah, just like, we, like he did to all the prophets in the Old Testament. Instead, an angel deceived Muhammad. Have you done? Yeah, you I, can you tell Have me you finished? why didn't Allah speak to Muhammad directly? Have you finished now? Yes. Okay, I will answer that one and I will answer both of them, the other question, okay, which is... Fine. The sister here said, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Paul said, all the scriptures is God's breath. Okay. One Timothy, yeah. Two Timothy, yeah. Sorry. I said Corinthians, sorry. Okay. Again, Paul himself, he disapproved that verse. He said, if, can you go for me, please? 1 Corinthians 7, 16. And read it louder for me. I will prove... All the verses are not from God. I'll prove that one. Oh, Please, can you go? Said. Yes, can you go? 1 Corinthians 7, 6. But he still didn't address the I, fact I will answer that one as well. Yeah. Please go, 1 it's, Corinthians 7, 6. It's not working. The internet. No. Okay, let me tell you basically. Paul, 1 Corinthians. There's okay, you go. Too many people use the internet. <laughs> okay, go. And it doesn't work. I know of a heart. I don't want to use the internet, but I just want to satisfy you. Okay, please, can you go 1 Corinthians 7, 6, 7, 12, 7, 6, and 7, 25, and 2 Corinthians 11, 17. Okay, you type it. Type it from here. Right, which one? Because you said a few. 1 Corinthians 7, 6, 7, 6. She said all the scriptures is God's breath, and I'm going to prove that not all the scriptures are from God. Here. 1 Corinthians 7 6. 7 6, 7 12, 7 25, 2 Corinthians 7 11, verse, and, and chap, um, verse 17. Okay, just read, I'll just go. 1 Corinthians 7 6. Open, please open, open first of all. Okay. Read for me, please. Uh, it's talking about, uh, I see it as a concession, not a command. Thank you. What did he say? Read the other the other one, the other version. The next one. No, 7-6 itself. 7-6. Don't go somewhere else. That's what did what he say? It's talking about what is the context of the this? The context of this verse is, Paul, he's saying, I have no commandment from God. No. I'm speaking from, I'm giving, I'm giving my own opinion. So my question is, if all the scriptures are inspired by God, how can Paul claim I'm giving my own opinion, which he never had from God? That means contradiction, lies and lies. Not all the scriptures are inspired by God. Again, 1 Corinthians 7, 7.25, Paul said in this, about this matter, I have no command from God, but I am giving my own opinion. What does no, that mean? No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. If you no, say in no. all the scriptures is in God's breath, no. that means no, Paul is contradicting. He, no. Again, again another no. verse. Yeah, another no, verse again. What he's talking again, about, he, what he's talking about, there are some things that are commandments and some that are advice. No, but the no. thing is, Muslim people, the reality Look. is that he doesn't want to talk about the fact that Allah Now I'm proving your book. Muhammad. I'm and so he want to talk okay. about the Bible. The now, Bible, same point, now I'm no, coming. There is no wait, point. wait, 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 wait. There is no point. I'm coming to the same point. Okay. Okay. Can you answer? Okay, wait, brother. Why I will answer. Allah I will answer. I will answer. Wait. Okay, now I'm asking a simple question. Because How many prophets do you have in the Bible? But it, wait, wait. How many prophets do you have in the Bible? I told you. I How many prophets? Know. You don't know. know. Okay, no. let's say 20, okay? 20. Yeah. So show me in the Bible where it says God spoke. God himself saying, I have spoken to all these prophets directly. Show me any verse. It so why are, you, why are you saying, show me in the Quran where Allah said, I have spoken to Prophet Muhammad. I'm asking no, same I verse. Wait, 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 wait. She's justifying her point, which is Prophet Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because God never spoken to him directly. So now I'm saying to you, same to you, all prophets of the Bible, 
not all of them god has spoken to them directly does that mean they're false prophets no this is not so true. which this is what not applies true. No, no wait what applies to prophet muhammad also it has to apply to the other prophets mm -hmm. so you cannot tell me but you cannot be biased by saying prophet muhammad is a false prophet mm -hmm. why because god never spoken to him directly no, no. okay did all prophets of the bible did god of the bible speak to all prophets of the bible directly Yes, you don't have. Yes. So, Show me. Yes, come, so please, India. come, volunteer. Come. No, he's come, me come, me. come here. Yes. yes empty words. Empty no, words. Come answer. here. Come, volunteer. So come, volunteer. Of the Lord, I know into the prophet. Come, volunteer. Who's saying that? In the Bible, who's, it tells no, who's you. talking? Who's talking? The Spirit of the Lord. Okay. People, who's talking? The Holy Spirit. Anointed people. Who's talking? And they, and God Who is the Holy them. Spirit? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me answer. Who is the Holy Spirit? Let me answer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't need help. The, 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 the Bible wait. says clearly that all scripture is written and inspired by God. If you want to talk, you can come here. Don't worry. You're still, the prophets you're still in the a Old student. Testament, don't worry. Relax. They had the spirit of the Lord. Same thing. They even heard. Same thing. They, they, same no, thing they again. saw the same thing. Same because thing the Bible again. warns in Galatians 1.8 that if you Who's hear another gospel. Who's talking? Who's talking? By an, an angel. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, wait, wait. The Bible says there is no further revelation. La, finish. Muhammad, La, finish. if God wanted to speak to Muhammad, La, finish. he would have spoken directly. Okay. Satan appears as a angel of no, light. No, Satan but... deceived Muhammad. Okay, wait. La, and finish. And La, finish. he deceived all La, Muslim finish. people for, for 1,500 Respect. years. No, hold it up. Hold it up. No, why didn't Allah speak to Muhammad? Oh, you have oh, no oh, answer oh. to that. Look, look. If it was a revelation look, from look. God, God would have spoken to Muhammad. I'm asking. God wouldn't have. I'm asking. Who is the Holy Spirit? Do you, you agree know who with the... me? Do you agree wait, with wait, me? Wait, wait, wait. I, I have a question to ask you, right? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't worry. No, don't worry. Wait, wait. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Look, look here. Wait here. I'm asking now again. No, no, wait, wait, wait. My brother, wait. No, brother, please wait. No, brother. My argument is that Muhammad brother, never heard wait. from God. So he was deceived. Prophets of God, God of the Bible never heard from God. Don't worry, brother. They Can you show did. to me in the, in the Bible? That's all the prophets. The show me all morning. the prophets one by one. One by one. God has spoken to them directly. If you show it me. Says in the Old Testament. Come on, show me. Any. Tell me. Okay, I want. Where, look, look. Look, look. I want all the prophets of the Bible one by one where God of the Bible said, I am the one who spoken to those prophets. One by one. Show me. All I see, see all I see you being biased. We're gonna understand together. Yes, all I see you being biased. I'm so not now being I'm asking biased. Do you know what's Holy Spirit according to Islam? Uh, is uh, is Angel Gabriel you, you no, believe just, him? No, just no, just Holy uh, Angel Gabriel. What what is it? Do you know that? Holy Mohammed, Spirit in Islam. No. What is Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, it can be sometimes Angel Gabriel. So Allah sent angel Jibril to the prophet Muhammad. I can give you in the, in the Bible, Old Testament, go to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 12. Do you know what it says? The illiterate will be given a book and he will be said, read. And he will say, I do not know how to read. If you go to Sahih Bukhari, hadith number three, chapter revelation, prophet angel Jibril came to him and asked him, Read, prophet said, I do not know how to read. What it says in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 12, the illiterate will be given a book. Please don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. No, no. She doesn't know the Hebrew language. I can show you from. Oh, who is the illiterate? 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 Please wait. Who is the illiterate man? You know. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm asking. No, no, no. I'm brother, wait. I'm asking to you now. According to Islam, Prophet Muhammad is an illiterate. According to Old Testament, let me finish. Please, please wait. Wait, wait. wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, literate. Illiterate. Brother, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Don't worry. Look, your Bible, your Bible was written in Greek language. 
I'm saying your Bible was written in Greek language. I'm quoting from the Hebrew language. The Hebrew, the Torah, which was written in Hebrew language, it says the illiterate will be given a book and he will be asked, he will be said, read. And he will say, I do not know how to read. So when it comes, wait, let me finish. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Islam, Prophet Muhammad is an illiterate. Mm -hmm. He never knew how to read and how to, how to, how to read and how to write. So when the angel came to him, Prophet Muhammad, in the cave, the angel asked him to read, and he said, I do not know how to read. And the Isaiah way says, the illiterate will be given to a book, will be given a book, a book. Okay, again, Isaiah again, chapter, Isaiah again, chapter 28, verse 11. Let me finish. Okay, let me finish. Isaiah. Let me finish. Isaiah chapter 20, 28, verse 11. Again, it says what? God will speak to his people with a new tongue. Right, can I answer? Like, you again, you're misquoting scripture because the what Bible quoting? says, let me answer. The Bible she doesn't says want to very clearly that there is no further revelation want to. from God. It's just because she doesn't like Prophet Muhammad. She likes other answer. prophets. Why don't you listen? Okay, okay let like, speak. Like, look, okay, like speak. I. I um I do not prophet Muhammad. Yeah, I I do great. not know Doesn't him. Matter. But I know that he is false and he never heard from God. The Bible says clearly there is no further revelation after the Bible and the Bible after the Bible you, where where it says it tells, that it tells you in Deuteronomy and Revelation there is no further revelation. Where it says that at the end of the Bible, it says there is no further revelation. According to you. But let me, I'll get it up in I'm a minute. giving you what verses. verses. Additionally, it tells you, look at the blasphemy. It tells you very clearly in the Bible that blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable sin. Now look at the blasphemy, how angel Gabriel, who is Satan, disguised as an angel of light, he proclaims to be the Holy Spirit. How, that's the most blasphemous thing ever. No. Like how Satan she, disguises himself as the Holy Spirit. Okay, shall I talk? Now I'm saying again, she started talking about the Holy Spirit. According to her own book, there's no Holy Spirit. Of course there is. It's evil Holy spirit. spirit, shall I tell you? Look, in the Bible, if you go to... Why does it tell you Wait, let me finish. The Holy Spirit let me finish. Let me finish. I'm quoting your book. I'm going to prove that there is no Holy Spirit, but evil spirit from the Bible. Wait. The temptation of Jesus. Wait. Wait. The temptation... No, wait. Thank you. Look. Wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. She said we Muslims blaspheme the Holy Spirit. But that's empty words. But according to her book, the Holy Spirit is evil spirit. Shall I tell you why? In Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11, the temptation of Jesus. Do you know who led him to the, on top of the mountain? Those the Satan could tempt him. That's the Holy Spirit. So tell me what kind of Holy Spirit can lead, mislead Jesus to on top of the mountain and cause the Satan to tempt Jesus? What kind of Holy Spirit is that? No, it was, there is no Holy Spirit. No, there is, a Holy there is no Holy Spirit. So what does the Bible Someone say? misguiding Jesus on top of the mountain can never be Holy Spirit. That's blasphemy. You should remove that verse from the Bible. No. What else no, do you want? Well, you know, first of all, Jesus is uncorruptible. So the fact that he was tempted, it just Again. shows that he's under, he's, he cannot say now. I want you to tell me, what does the Bible mean when it says that blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is the uh, sin that is unforgivable, which is you're doing now. You're blaspheming the uh, Holy Spirit. So I thought, what does that mean to you? I thought you, believe, I thought you believe Jesus died for your sins, and now you're telling me if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven. So what does that mean? But you believe but Jesus died I for have, your but sins. But I have Christ. You I'm don't asking have Christ. one question. Okay, I'm asking one question now. If Jesus died for your sins, and let's say you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. But I wouldn't do that. Wait, wait, wait. Because I have wait, the Holy wait, Spirit wait, in wait, me. wait, 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 wait. I'm asking you. Did Jesus die for your sins? 
Why don't you answer my question? What question are you asking? What does the Bible mean when it says that the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is a sin that will not be forgiven? If the Holy Spirit doesn't exist, why does so the Bible you need to say define that? the word blasphemy first of all? What's blasphemy what to you? What do you think it means? What's it blasphemy? Means to, it means to, to deny the Holy Spirit. Not just deny. The Holy Spirit, to say bad about. You, you, no, no. You, called, you said it doesn't exist and you said that he's evil. That's blasphemy of the Let Holy Spirit. Let me give you, according to your book, the Holy Spirit is evil. He's, he's blaspheming you know, the no, Holy Spirit. Do you know why? No, the no. Holy Spirit is evil. No, according to your book, the Holy Spirit is evil. You tell me. How can the Holy Spirit mislead Jesus on top of the mountain? How can can the Holy Spirit mislead Jesus to on top of of the mountain? He didn't mislead him. He didn't go read. Mislead him. Go read. Please go read. No, he no, didn't go mislead read. him. Please go read. He, he didn't can you open? Him. Please open for me. That was to prove. Please open chapter and uh, the Gospel him? of Matthew and chapter four, verse one to eleven. It He's says that the Holy Jesus Spirit was misled by the Holy Jesus Spirit. The mountain. No, my, yeah. my hands are freezing. You caught it. Can you quote it, please? I'm, Can you search up? I'll show you here. It says Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is the one who misled Jesus on top of the mountain so the Satan could tempt him. So what kind of Holy Spirit is that? What kind of Holy Spirit? That's evil. Well, he didn't manage to tempt no, him. No, he tempted him for 40 but days. He, but did he manage? For 40 days, he was no. keeping them. Did he, the, your the God, imagine point, your God. The whole point is your to God. prove that Jesus is incorruptible. Jesus, according to your book, Jesus is a sinner as well. No, he's not a Shall sinner. Shall I give you verses? No. Shall I give you? Would you agree with me? I, I wouldn't agree because Jesus Shall is Shall I God. give you your verses? Where Stop Jesus me. is a sinner, very a clear sinner. Shall I tell you now? Go on. Okay, do you believe lying is a sin? Do you believe lying is a sin? Yes. yes. Thank you. So the sister here said lying is a sin. Do you believe Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18? Do you believe that? What does it say? It says... <laughs> yeah, read. When Jesus led by the Spirit, mm -hmm. read. Okay. So it says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Okay, who led him? The spirit. What spirit is that? The Evil. Holy spirit. Oh, thank you. But so are you telling no, me Jesus is, was misled the by the Holy is. Spirit, yeah, so yeah. the Satan could tempt him. Mm -hmm. So that's no Holy Spirit. But do you understand? Okay, now. Do you understand why this happened? This I don't happened. want to, to understand why no, this happened. You don't wanna, you My don't point is, is it. no. You misquote it. The point is that Jesus Christ is God. He's sinless and he is unsinful. Jesus is a sinner. No, he's According not. to your book. Okay, why do you get baptized? Tell me now. Yes. Why um, do you get baptized? To follow, to follow the, the commandment of God. No, no, that why? God what, commands I can me give you the verse from the Bible. Why do you get baptized? It's a commandment of God. Is it because do you know you don't know your Bible? Be uh, do you know you don't know your Bible? I'm repeating again. Why do you get baptized? I know the verse. Wait, uh, why are you telling her? Why are you telling her? She's claiming to know the Bible. Why are you telling her? I'm Why not, are you telling her? I'm not. I, I'm an evangelist. I'm not a teacher. I'm here to show you Okay, news. thank you. Okay. okay, you tell me. Why I'm do you get... because I don't okay. want to go to hell. Wait, wait, brother. Why do you get baptized? To I obey God because the Bible Okay, says brother, can you help her? Why do you get baptized? I think one of the main reasons is this is public public showing that you're a Christian. And that one oh, is, no, no. One no. Is I want the main the reason you get baptized. If you don't know, then I'll tell you. According to the Bible. You're taking away the old life Mr. Come, sin. you're claiming to know the Bible. The you're a Christian here. Sin. Come here. You tell me, please, why do you get baptized? I'll sh give you the verse from the Bible. I know that verse. Oh, he doesn't know. I told you what why I do you get baptized? I'm to tell you that I personally think it's to, it's to shed in the way of the oh, old assumption. person. The old person is washed away. And is okay. No, okay, wait. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't so, okay. No, everyone. Hello. Okay, listen. No, no okay, why do you get baptized? No, 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 why do you get baptized? Yes. The Bible has, uh, has Brother, can you help them? Can you help her? Can you help her? Come, come here. Can you help her? I'm asking why do you get baptized? She doesn't know the reason you get baptized. Help her, please. Why do you get baptized? But why? What is the main reason? To receive the Holy Spirit. No, why? No, that's that. I want the main reason. Say again. Thank you. Where is the main reason? Thank you. Did you hear that one? 
the main reason you get baptized in order your sins to be forgiven. Is it? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now. Thank you, thank you. Wait, wait. The brother, wait. No, we are talking about we are talking about something else. Wait, please. Please wait. Wait, please. Okay, now. So now I'm asking. Was Jesus baptized? Yes, but I'm gonna let me answer. Wait, wait, wait. Let me answer. I'm gonna right. Was Jesus baptized? Was Jesus baptized? Right. Can I answer? Was Jesus baptized? Wait, wait, wait. To fulfill all righteousness. Wait, 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 wait. You can help her. I don't mind. You can help her. Amy. Amy. Can I answer, please? I'm asking. Can I answer? Can I answer? Then I'm going to go. Go out with a good time. Okay. Stop in here trying to get fucking frostbite. Is no need. Don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, listen. Frostbite. Respect um, all religion. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Jesus oh, is Lord. No, I wanna I wanna just prove to you that drunk. right. I wanna prove to you one thing that No no I, don't divert the topic. Uh, no, I'm uh, I'm gonna answer I'm you. I'm talking I'm about whether Jesus you. is a sinner let or me, sinless. Let me answer you, right. Was so, Jesus baptized? Please Was Jesus baptized? Right, let me answer. Okay, tell me the answer. Right. So the answer is that yes, we are commanded to be uh, baptized in water is let's say is a ritual does baptism save you no he does it doesn't save you now oh it to you. And I'll prove it she's to you against now. you i will prove it to you now she said cross, baptism does not forgive your sin that's what she said okay wait did you hear wait. my answer okay the thief on the cross wait, proved wait. that you're saved by okay, faith through grace, by by grace, through faith in Jesus Christ, the thief on the cross, he was not baptized. He didn't do any deeds. All he did is he put his trust in Jesus Christ. And Jesus, because he's divine, he said to you, today you will be in paradise with me. How can he wait, say wait, that? Wait, 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 How can he say that? That laughing. proves that you don't need to be baptized. And that proves that Jesus can give eternal life. It proves that salvation is not done by words. Can anyone hear what she said? Yes. So two points now. Yes. She said the baptism does not save you. Now I'm quoting your book. I'm quoting. Wait, 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 wait. Please wait, wait, wait. Please, please wait. Please wait. I'm quoting your Bible. You said baptism does not save you, but in your book it says Mark 16, chapter 16, verse 16. It says, if you are not saved, you will be condemned. If you're not baptized, baptized yes. you will be condemned. Clear? No, it doesn't. Clear cut. No, go let, go to Mark 16, 16. Go there. It doesn't. Go there. Mark 16, 16. The thing is, right. We, yes, the thing is, Mark 16, can you type it up? I can't Bible because my hands are freezing. My fingers are freezing now. However, we're not saved by baptism. How do you, can you kind of explain before, we we'll look at that verse in a minute. Mark, Tell me the story of the thief on the cross. Mark he was 16. Not but because you, I've just proven to you 16. that you don't need to be baptized to be saved. And See, so you don't I'm quoting that. my book where but Mark 16, 16, it says, if you are not baptized, you will be condemned. Because That's why Jesus was baptism. baptized. No. Otherwise, Jesus so could not be saved. It, so why did the thief on the cross make it Mark to heaven 16, baptism? Mark no 16, answer. 16. Because you know that Look he... here. Look. He's here. No, that's her book. She's denying. She said, in order, if you are, if, she's saying basically, if you are baptized, you're not saved. Bapt baptism basically does not save you. But here it says, but, how, wait, how let me finish. Let me finish. Right. No, no, Shall no, no. I finish? Before we move on to this verse, tell me no, why no, wait. was it, I will come Jesus to that point. To the the no, cross, no, first one you, point at a time. That's, that's the answer. I will answer one that's point at a time. One, I, I have got you the answer. One point at a time. One point at a time. Right. Okay, here. Mark 16, 16. It says, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. Mm -hmm. What well, it says, if you are not, if you, if you believe, in order you to be saved, you have to believe and you have to be baptized. Yes. So you said, if you are baptized, you're not, it's not saving you. So Jesus is a sinner. Jesus is a sinner. Jesus is a sinner. The reason you get baptized is 
because in order God to forgive your sins, according to the Bible, yes. you must be baptized. No, 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 no. Because, no. shall I show you? Your Bible. Look, 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 look. Why? But he's look. not answering the thief on the cross. That just look, look, look. What look, 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 look. But this is look. why he doesn't have an Three. answer. The thief on the cross was not baptized. Three. The thief on the cross didn't do any works. What did he okay, do? Okay, here, look. He put his faith in Jesus look Christ. Look here. And Jesus, look here. divine, told him today you will be in paradise. Look here. Look here again. Jesus, the reason you get baptized in the Bible, bap baptism, is here. He says, look, chapter 3, verse 3. He went to all the country around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. What does baptism do? It's a spiritual baptism. What baptism it's do? Spiritual baptism. You will be, your sins will be forgiven. So Jesus was baptized because his sins was forgiven. In order God to forgive his sins, Jesus, he had to be baptized. Jesus is a sinner according to the Bible. No. But in Islam, Jesus is not. Right, See? we're gonna so I'm gonna go because my friends are going. The bottom line is that yes, we are commanded by, to be uh, baptized. Okay. But the, the, the point is is a spiritual baptism. And like I said to you, Jesus is a sinner. I just proved faith. no, you you haven't proven anything. You get baptism no, because no. You, you, because you, in order your sins Jesus to be forgiven, you have to be no, baptized. Can, can you, right, let's, before, before we finish, tell me why the thief on the, why, how could Jesus, who was being crucified, told the thief on the cross, you would be in paradise with me today? Let me can give the answer. answer. Shall I answer that one? Yes. Okay, now she's going to another topic. It's not, it's the okay, same wait. topic. That just she's that saying baptism. Jesus that just died. That just proved that Jesus can give eternal life. I just showed you from the Bible, if you are baptized, you are saved and no, in Bible order your sins to be forgiven I'm giving a verse no. Luke 3 3 Matthew chapter 3 verse 14 to 17 Jesus was baptized in, in order God to forgive your sins you have to be baptized Luke 3 3 it says okay wait 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 I like this topic. Now I like this topic. Come here, help her. Come here. Come here. One thing, yeah. Just one thing, because I'm going. No, okay. Really, I'm just, she's trying to say to you that you're saying yeah. that Jesus got baptized to wash away his sins, correct? Yes. yes. Why did John the Baptist then say to Jesus, "You haven't got. You don't need to." What did Jesus say? It's to fulfill righteousness. Paul, John never said you haven't done no, anything. No. Listen no, carefully. He listen. To no, what he never you, said no, you no, haven't never done see, anything. Let's, let's see what he says. He never said that. Let's see, let's see. And also, now again, yes. he's saying Jesus was baptized to fulfill the righteousness. Yes. So my question to you, when you are getting baptized, are you fulfilling the wickedness or full righteousness? Answer my question, please. Yes. Wait, wait a minute. Wait answer, minute. answer. Gonna, okay, answer. Right. So when are you fulfilling baptized, the wickedness or righteousness well, listen when you're getting baptized? You're, you're fulfilling righteousness. Right. Thank you. Same as Jesus. No, but, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, listen. But Jesus Thank said, you. Uh, listen, there, there's, uh -huh. there's no way Go in on. the, in the uh, Bible, in the uh -huh. New Testament, yeah. that anywhere it says yeah. that he was with sin. He had no sin. I can show you many verses. I can show you. Shall I show you many verses? No, you said. Shall I show you many verses? Show me a sin that he committed then. One single okay, verse. Show me one sin that he committed. One single verse. Show me I'll tell you now. No, show me a sin okay. that he committed. Okay. So show me a sin thank that he you. committed. Okay, now. No, no. Just okay, answer. answer. Can you do I'll that answer. answer. Okay, do you believe lying is, a, no, lying is no, a sin? I'm asking you. Okay, do you believe lying is a sin? Listen carefully. Answer, uh, show I'm me answering. Bible. You I'm you answering your question. I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question now. You tell me now. Is lying a sin? You tell me now. What do you think? Is lying a sin? What do you think? I think it's a a sin. Do you think lying is a sin? Are you already asked me? Okay, she said lying is a sin. Okay, now, if you go in many verses in the Bible, okay. Jesus lied. Right, like right, Mark. Right, let's, let's, let's verify the baptism thing because we're this, this jumping is what it says here. Uh -huh. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be, to be baptized by John. Okay. But John tried to stop him, deter him, saying, okay. I need let's to be baptized okay. by you. Uh -huh. And do you come to me? Same. Same. Where did he say, John, never, you never done anything wrong? Well, listen, Show listen, me where listen, Jesus said you never done anything wrong. You said Jesus, listen, John said to him, you never done anything wrong. No, so show me now here. Deter him. He tried to stop him. Thank you, him. you're just assuming. Okay, stop him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gave you many verses. Mark, 
chapter 16, verse 16, it says, if you, are not, if you don't believe and you're not baptized, you are not saved. Yeah, you are not saved. No, no, I'm, gonna make a I'm using your Bible. No, I'm going to make, I'm gonna make opinion. a point now. I'm going to make a point now. Let me so make now, a point. Now Let me I'm make asking. one point before I go, please. Okay. Um, we believe in the baptism, not just of the water, but the baptism of fire. 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 Is, yeah, so listen. you get fire, no, baptism. Yeah, let me finish talking. Oh, fire. 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 Oh, fire. oh so can you, have you ever done? So tell me, any Christian was baptized with a fire. Fire. So you're not getting burnt. No, no, because no. it's a spiritual fire oh, of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So, so now saying? another lie. So fire. No, no, no. Fire. What he's saying fire. is that it is a spiritual that, baptism that, 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 that you don't know. You don't know how to fix it. Oh, fire now. Okay. Never, it's pointless talking okay, to you. Speak, okay, speak. Okay, speak. Okay, speak. So when we talk about the baptism of fire, yes. it's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, so fire is the Holy Spirit now. Let me finish talking. Okay. Let me finish talking. Yeah, okay. The baptism of fire is that when Jesus died, he sent the Holy Spirit, and oh. that is what baptizes me and her. So, and listen, listen, let me finish. Okay. It anoints us, marks us with a seal that we're guaranteed to go to heaven. That's what that fire does. Let it's me give marked you. us. Let me give you. Let heart. me give you now. now. Listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me give you. Let's say Jesus died for your sins, yeah? Who died the sins for Jesus? <laughs> he, he nailed them all to the cross. Who died for you're his not, sins? He, he didn't, didn't do any sins. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, he's lying a sin. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, brother, wait. He's lying a sin. You're not listening. He's lying a sin. Answer. No, he's lying a sin. I'm proving you Jesus is a sinner from your Bible. No, he's lying a sin. God never lies. Okay, he's lying a sin. Listen carefully. Okay, he's lying a sin. Listen to the camera. God never lies. Okay, he's lying a sin. God never lies. Answer my question. He's lying a sin. God never lies. No, I want his lying a sin. Yes. Thank you. It's God never sin. lies. It's, okay, I know. Did I say God never lies? I, I did. Did, did I say it. to you that? No, I said it. I'm, I'm asking, is lying a sin? I'm saying to you, God never okay, lies. Okay, it's lying so a sin. Never lies. Okay, it's lying answer. a sin. Is the answer. Yes. Jesus never lies. Lying a sin? Jesus never lies. Yes. So the, Thank the you. Point, okay. So the, Thank you. Let me give the answer now. Yes. So, sister here saying, lying is a sin. In many verses, Jesus lied. Like Mark chapter 16, verse 17, 18, Jesus said, if you believe, in my name, those, this sign will accompany to those who believe in my name. They will pick up a snake they and they poison. will drink daily poison yes, and they know. will touch. It won't harm them. And he said they, they will touch, place their hands on sick people and they become well. Yes. So you tell me poison is a medicine. Yes. If yes, Please go bring medicine yeah. and drink it I, 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 and touch it with let, me. Let, let, Why let, let all me, this? Let me respond then. Can't you, can't okay. you, can't you, can't you. <laughs> no, I never no, finished. I never finished. No, no. I never finished. Point, I never point. finished. No, no. You said that Jesus lied. What did he lie about? Yeah, yeah. Is poison a medicine? You're not listening. Answer my I'm question. I'm going to say one last thing. I don't He's drink. not answering. Listen, I don't drink. I see this woman Oh, here. he doesn't drink. Listen to this woman. Oh. He's Listen. not answering. Listen to, I'm going to answer no, the question. Not answering. You know, can, I ask, can I ask you a question or not? Is poison I, a medicine? I want to ask you something. Is Come poison on. I'm medicine? Trying, you've asked me so many questions. I'm not okay. asking you one. Okay. You, you know, if Amy, right, seriously, if I, if I bring poison to Amy this evening and she drinks it in front of you, will you become a Christian? What do you mean? If I bring her poison to drink... No, I will bring... No, 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 bring no, no, no. No. I will bring for no, myself. No, you can come no, I will bring no, for you myself. Can come with me. No, I will no, bring no, for you myself. Can come, you can come with me. Listen, I'm making a point. Are you going to let me make a point? Okay, I'm making a point. I'm saying to you, if I bring poison, you come with me to the shop, we'll buy some poison. If, uh -huh. Amy, drink, if Amy drinks that poison and she lives, will you become a Christian? Yes or no? Definitely. Poison is not medicine, first of all. You don't let me finish. Answer the question. If she drinks, if she drinks poison, yeah. And she doesn't die. Will you become a Christian? On camera. I won't. Oh, you won't. So what's the but point? No, <laughs> my point. Is, come, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, he's running. Come here. Come here. So now, wait, wait, wait. Now, come here. Come here. So now, I ask him: Is poison medicine? You didn't answer. You're not listening. Is poison medicine? Is poison medicine? Yes or no? So can oh, I, can I look, 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 he said, wait, 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 the brother here, the same guy, wait, 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 the same guy here, he said medicine, poison is not medicine. Look, 
This said what is poison is not medicine. And Jesus said poison is medicine. So is Jesus not a liar? So the, the, the point is, because we have to finish. Now to the they are proved Jesus no, is a liar and a sinner. A liar. Because no. he said poison no. is not medicine. No. And Jesus said poison is medicine. No. And you know what? Jesus is in hell according to the Bible. You know what he says in Revelation chapter 21 verse 8? It says all liars will be go to will go to no, hell. No, so the, the Bible done. says that if you deny I'm done. the son, you know, because you don't want me to wrap this up. I'm done. The point is, they the, Jesus, the point is, Jesus was God, he's God, and he was sinless. This is why he was a perfect sacrifice to be crucified on the cross for our sins. Uh, because he was God, because he was sinless, it was an acceptable sacrifice to take all the sins of the world, and he became the curse himself to free us from the curse. Now again, one point, last point, I'm going to conclude this topic. Last one. I'm telling you now, Matthew... Brother. Chapter because he denies the son, you don't have the father. Don't worry, don't well, worry. he's a liar. The don't Bible says that the don't truth worry. is not don't in worry. him, and he's a liar. You want to discuss with me? And the, the, the oh, young guy, don't worry after. he couldn't answer the fact that why Allah didn't speak to Muhammad directly. And I tell you okay, why wait. because God Let never spoke to Muhammad, he was deceived. Yeah, you. Thank you. Anyway, she's gone. She anyways. To go. she okay, to go well. she accepted Jesus is a liar because he, they said again, poison is not medicine, and Jesus said. Jesus said what? Jesus was given poison as well. Go read your book. Jesus was given poison. Vinegar and poison. Jesus was given poison. Go read. Go read. Go read. No. Oh, you know the Quran? Come here. I'll teach you. Come here. Come here. I'll teach you. Come. Come here. I'll teach you. Come here. You don't know. You'll be quoting the Quran. Come here. You know. That's what Muhammad said. You don't know anything. Come here. Come, come. Okay. When did he say that? Okay. When did he say that? Okay. If the author was been cut off, why did he still talk? Okay. Use your logic. That's metaphoric. That's metaphoric. He doesn't know where the metaphoric is. Look, look, look. If your head is chopped off, if your head is chopped off, can you talk? If your neck is chopped off, can you talk? Can you talk? So, Prophet Muhammad, when he was saying, I feel like my altar has been cut off, yet guess what? He was going to mosque, leading the uh, praying with his companions, and he was talking. So you tell me, what logic can, what logic gives you someone his altar has been cut off can still talk? No, that's metaphoric. Don't learn what, what metaphoric is. You go exposed, you don't know. Okay, was he talking when he was saying that? Imagine. His author was cut, been cut off, and he still was talking. How can someone talk when his his author has been cut off? You don't know. Jesus is the false prophet, according to your book. You know, Jesus is the false prophet, cast one, the only cast prophet. What are you talking about? Jesus is the false prophet. He's the cast one, according to your book. Cast is upon the wicked. You know your book. I'm using your book. I'm giving you a book. Give me your book. Give me your book. Where is it? Give me your book where it says all prophets of the Bible, God has spoken to them directly. Go, go, bring. Go sleep. You don't know anything. Go sleep. Come to me when you learn. Your zero. Your zero. False worshiper. Jesus himself said, You are false worshiper. False worshiper. No, 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 let me stop this.